So what you just saw is how to get from 0 to 100 Concerto on Verena in less than 3.5 seconds. And I'm going to try to explain how this works and also how you can reduce Verena's field time in a similar manner in any following rotations. Now, why is this even a topic? Well, many players don't bother with building Concerto for their first rotation at least, because it takes too much time. And instead they full send it and just Verena ult, Mortify ult, Tian ult and worry about Concerto in the next rotation. I did some math on this Tian team specifically by unchecking all affected perks. And doing it this way, Jian loses almost half of his rotation damage because he's missing out on a lot of buffs. Rigna and Mortify's Outros are both deepened buffs, which are undiluted amplifiers to your damage. Moonlit Clouds only triggers on outro. Jian's passive only triggers on intro. And the Sierra Gale 5 piece effect also requires an intro. So let's see how Verena can actually help us get to our outros and intros as quickly as possible so that we get all the buffs. For this we need a few pieces. The first is that when Concerto is not full, if you swap into Verena mid-combat and press basic attack, she picks up from her third basic attack. This is crucial because it allows us to get one passive stack from her fifth basic attack without having to go through the entire basic attack string. For this to work you have to make somebody other than Verena the team leader, so that when the round starts you can swap into Verena right away and start basic attacking. If you have Verena as the team leader and try to do this, you won't be able to swap back to her for one second, thus wasting time. Make sure that your basic attacks connect with an enemy so that they generate concerto energy. And the fifth basic attack is especially important because it only generates a passive stack if it connects. As soon as the basic attack string ends, you can cast your ultimate for another 20 concerto. Now we can cast her skill and this animation can be cancelled because it generates concerto and a passive stack even without hitting anything. You can cancel either by jumping or by casting the turtle echo skill. The turtle echo can also be animation cancelled by jumping. So again it's skill into turtle into jump and if you're on a keyboard that's E then Q and then spacebar as quickly as you can to cancel the whole ordeal and still get all of your resources as well as the turtle buff. Note that you cannot do it the other way around because the turtle animation cannot be cancelled with your skill. It just doesn't work for some reason. Once you're in the air you can then start spamming basic attacks for your mid-air attack Starflower Blooms and each of these up to three mid-air attacks consume one passive stack and convert it into healing for the team and 12 concerto energy for Verena. Your Concerto energy should be full after two mid-air attacks, so as soon as you hear the audio cue, you can swap to Mortify and do his intro. Simply by activating his intro, Mortify's field time is reduced dramatically as well, because he takes the field with 60% of his bar already filled. You can then follow up with one skill, then immediately one forte, four basic attacks, another forte, ultimate, echo and outro. When Dian takes the field now, he's completely juiced up with all the buffs the team has to offer. Okay, so we've covered Verena's first rotation, but is there a catch? Well, yes and no. Yes, because this rotation was performed with the variation weapon equipped on Verena, which grants an additional 8 concerto energy upon casting your skill. But also no, because it doesn't change the way this rotation works at all. If you don't have this weapon, you can use the 3 star weapon Rectifier of Voyager to still get the energy regen, and the only difference will be that you'll have to cast all 3 mid-air attacks to get full concerto, instead of just 2. Everything else is the same. This does mean that your rotation will be slightly longer, but in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter too much. The variation is currently featured on the Dian weapon banner, but it's sort of a pay to win weapon because there's no guarantee whatsoever that you'll obtain it because there's no pity for 4 stars. Before we cover the rest of her build, I do want to discuss her second rotation and onwards, because the next time you take the field with Verena will be through her intro. Now her intro is great because it gives you a passive stack and 10 concerto energy, but it also sucks because it locks you in the air, and with just one stack available we don't really want to commit to her mid-air attack animations just yet. I've made it a habit to swap to Mortify right after Verena's intro animation, just to squeeze in one skill and generate some resonance energy, and then swap back to repeat the same basic attack combo as covered earlier. If you have godlike gear and your ultimate is up again at this point, you can cast your ultimate now, but if not you just go straight into the EQ spacebar cancel and then your mid-air attacks. This time you'll have 3 stacks available thanks to the intro, and that's enough to get you to full concerto even without the ultimate. So to recap, the first rotation goes like this. And any following rotations look like this. These rotations will drastically reduce your field time with Verena and guarantee that you'll always have her outro ready by the time you switch out. 
We've already covered her weapons. There really are only two options you need to consider. Variation and the energy regen three-star weapon. Unless you want to build her as a DPS, then you could look into some other options, but that's for another time. For the Echo set, you'll most definitely want the Rejuvenating Glow set for the party buff, with the Turtle as your Echo skill for even more party buffs. For her abilities, your resources are simply better spent on other damage-oriented characters. Again, unless you're the only DPS Verena player in the game, there's not much reason to ever level her basics, intro and skill. But if you want some more healing, you can put some points into her ultimate and forte circuit. Her resonance chains mostly enhance her healing, except C4, which gives a dedicated Spectro damage buff for some future Mono Spectro teams. And her C2 grants an additional passive stack on skill cast and another 10 concerto on top of that. This resonance chain sounds absolutely crazy and will probably reduce her field time to just 2 seconds or something ridiculous because you won't even need the basic attacks in the beginning anymore. I don't have any of her resonance chains, but if any of you do, do let me know how impactful this resonance chain is for you. Arena is already the most broken support, but I think she's only going to get better, especially with her C2 at some point in the distant future but also with additional copies of the variation weapon. If you do have multiple copies, you can consider feeding them all into one weapon because you can trade gear in the Tower of Adversity and you won't ever run two healers in the same team. Just some food for thought. But anyway, that concludes this Verena guide. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel for more character guides like these. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.